Hey, welcome to the laboratory. That's the only way you can say laboratory, by the way. If you say laboratory, it's not cool. It's a laboratory. This is the Make Money Now laboratory. And this video is a walkthrough of what I talked to you about in this month's newsletter. So the purpose of the Make Money Now section, of course, is to give you something that you can use to, say it with me, make money now, or more accurately, get money now. So this little campaign is a beauty. It's called the Four Day Cash Machine 2.0, and it's based on the Four Day Cash Machine that was made famous uh, by me in 2006 and 2011. Now, the, interestingly enough, the original Four Day Cash Machine was actually invented by my cousin, Trey Smith, who is such a gifted marketer and such a natural at marketing that he got tired of marketing and went into software development. I'm just a little bit jealous. So he invented four day cash machine. I popularized and perfected it. And then recently have created the four day cash machine 2.0, which just like all later 2.0 models of anything is better, faster, and more powerful. So here's how it works. First of all, the big picture phase one of this looks like this. You want to start with an educational piece of content that makes a special offer at the end. So if you remember, from the newsletter that I sent you, we can double revenue, potentially even do better than doubling revenue, just by sending more emails. But we can't just bombard the list with buy my stuff emails. We always wanna send basically what is called a click sequence out to the list and then follow up with everybody who clicks. So in phase one of this campaign, we're gonna start with an educational piece of content that genuinely helps them. And at the end of that content, it makes a special offer. Now, the next thing is, what's the special offer? Well, it can be a discount. It can be an added bonus. It could be a payment plan where one was previously unavailable. It could really be whatever you want, but you wanna have the offer be something special, a new twist on an existing offer or a new offer altogether. Now, the next phase here is you wanna email your list about that educational content twice a day for three days in a row. Now, you don't wanna annoy your list, so the trick here is to don't mention the special offer in your emails. Instead, only sell the benefits of the free content. So for the sake of what we're talking about, we'll assume that content is a video, like a tutorial video, where at the end of it, you make a special offer. Of course, I'll give you an example of one that's worked really, really well in this month's package. But let's move on. So continuing in phase one, if they click the video, then you don't want to send them any more emails. So let's say it's day one, email one, and they go ahead and they click the video, the first email out of the gate. Well, naturally, we're not going to email them nine million more times to go click a video they've already watched, right? Instead, they're going to be moved to the next phase. So whenever they click the video, at any point during this three-day period, as soon as they click, they're moved on to phase two. If they never click, then we're not going to email them anymore. We're not going to say, hey, I'm, you know, I sent you this video as part of a special offer. We don't do any of that stuff. Instead, we move them on to something else, right? So we don't bother them. This way, all your list is seeing at, uh, from a 30,000 foot view, if they never click, all they're really seeing is you just being super cool and helpful. So you're not actually pitching. So if you do this, you're not going to burn out your list. All you're really doing them or all you're really doing is emailing them twice a day for three days saying, hey, here's something cool. Think you might enjoy it. Let me know if you like it. That's it, right? So I'll give you the framework of how to do that in a minute. So if you're afraid of mailing your list a lot, it makes sense, but you can mail cool stuff to your list as much as you want, and it won't bother them. I've got the stats to prove this, by the way. So now let's talk about uh, phase two. First of all, this phase one email sequence is basically known as a click sequence. So a click sequence has a specific framework. Naturally, I'm going to walk you through it in this episode of Get Money Now. So let's talk about phase two. If they do click on your video or your educational piece of content, I like to use a video, so I'll just say video. If they do click on that, remember, you start out with education, you end with an offer. So some of those folks might actually buy from that first click, right? Now, most of them won't. Of course, logic dictates that. Most of them aren't going to buy immediately. Otherwise, you would have to 51% conversion rate on your, your video and you'd be the greatest marketer in the world. So it's pretty rare to get that kind of a conversion rate. So if most of them won't buy from that video from their first click, then, of course, we're going to need to put 
the only, the clickers, in a follow-up sequence. So the only people who are going to get pitches from this point forward are the ones who clicked the educational video but did not take you up on your offer. See, those people have behaviorally indicated that they're interested in the results that your offer can help them get. Therefore, it makes sense logically to now become a little bit more aggressive in making sales offers, but only to those people. So if you look at it from a 30,000 foot view, basically what you did is you emailed your list twice a day for three days saying, hey, here's something cool I made for you, hope you like it, see you later. Very friendly. Then the ones who actually clicked, now they're going kind of down the rabbit hole, so to speak. So let's continue on with phase number two. The most effective thing we can do in following up with these people who clicked is to use a deadline-based email sequence that sends them straight to a sales letter or a sales video for the very thing that you mentioned at the end of your educational piece of content, right? So what you want to do in this is you want to use scarcity for maximum effect and you want to reference the deadline in your emails and you want to reference your deadline in your web pages as well. I'll show you how to do that on your web pages here in a separate video from this one. So your scarcity can be around a discount, it could be around expiring bonuses, or you can make the offer expire altogether, kind of the way it works in a launch where it's just, hey, it's no longer available. You could even do a combination of these things, right? Where it's the product's not gonna be available, the discount's gonna go away, and the bonuses are gonna go away. Whatever you wanna do, the maximizer to this thing is the use of scarcity. Now, the scarcity has to be real. You can't use false scarcity. So I'll show you, I will show you how to make that real here in the second part of this little tutorial. So. Let's keep on rolling. The phase two email sequence is something that's known as a countdown sequence. So if we were to look at a map of how this thing looks, it's pretty simple. So if we can, we'll go to the whiteboard here. All right, so, or actually in this case, the screen. So here we start out with the click sequence, right? So that's what this box represents, okay? And within that click sequence, basically, we're sending two emails a day, every day, for three days, right? now. At, at, during the sequence, they really can do two things. They can either click, all right, so if they click, we're gonna do something with them, or they can not click. And if they don't click, you notice the very cleverly and a professionally labeled box here says other stuff. That means we're gonna send them something else later, okay? But our focus is really on the ones who click. So the sole purpose of this click sequence is just to get someone to click and go check out your educational content. It is not to make a pitch. This is 100% friendly, goodwill-based marketing. That's why we can do it twice a day. I usually like to do it, by the way, at around 7.30 in the morning, and then I'll wait around four hours and do it again at 11.30. And um, I have no rhyme or reason behind that. I just like to let about half a day go through, and then I'll get the ones who didn't see it. Because remember, if you remember from our newsletter, people are like suffering from internet ADD. It is the most attention deficit medium in the world, right? At any minute, they're maybe thinking about reading your email. They're probably on the can or in the line at Starbucks on their phone, or they're on their office computer, and they're about to open your email, or maybe about to go click, and then the little Facebook instant messenger thing goes off, or they get a text or a phone call or whatever, right? It's rarely because they don't want the result that they don't open, they don't click. It's because they're distracted. That's why we want to mail them twice, but only if we're mailing them cool stuff, okay? So here's the click sequence. You got two emails a day for three days, super simple, very basic emails. I'll walk you through the framework of the email sequence in a minute. If they click, now they're going to be moved into, watch this, look at that. I tell you, what is that fancy or what? Now they're moved into a countdown sequence. For me, I've always had my countdown sequences be about four days. I have no reason why. I have randomly picked four days. It has always worked really, really well for me. I've never tested four days against more days or fewer days, so I have no idea. If it's the best, don't really care. It works, I'm gonna keep doing it. So here's what the four day countdown sequence looks like, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send them two emails on day number one, right? So they click that video, we're gonna wait, see if they buy from the video itself. If they don't buy the very next day, which is now day number one of this countdown sequence, we're sending them two emails, okay? I'll show you the framework of the emails, by the way, in this video. So there's a whole structure to this whole thing. Now, next day, we're gonna wait a day. If they still haven't bought, we're gonna send them one email. We don't wanna overdo it, right? They're pretty hot right here. They're very interested. There's, there's some recency here, right? They just clicked the video. They're, obviously, they've just expressed interest in the result. So we've got the, the benefit of recency here. So we're gonna email them 
two emails. We're going to send them one email on day two. We're going to send them one email on day number three. And then on the final day, we're going to go hog wild crazy. We're going to send them three emails. Can you believe it? Three emails in one day. Someone call the internet police. We're driving people crazy. But are we? We would be if we were doing this to our entire list. But remember, we're only sending this to people who have clicked and behaviorally indicated that they are interested in the result that our product can provide. Why is behavioral indication so important? Well, as the old saying goes, actions speak louder than words. We can now market to people based on their actions. By the way, this is just the tip of the iceberg of all the cool stuff you can do. So on day number four, we're gonna email them three times. This is gonna say, hey, it expires today. So usually this says deadline. The copy, in, and this one's gonna say, hey, this expires in like five hours, and this is usually an hour before the deadline expires, and this says final notice. Of all these emails, I've measured this, by the way, of all these emails in this four-day sequence, what do you think gets the most sales? Of course, that's the last one on day number four. Why? Human nature. People procrastinate. They are distracted. They will wait until the last minute to do anything. It's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're lazy. It's because they're people. And they're on the internet, which is the most attention deficit medium in the world. There's a reason I have sent you this on a thumb drive, by the way, and not had you log into a member's area to watch it. The reason is because I don't necessarily want you on the internet while you're watching this thing because I don't want you to get distracted. I want you to have focus. That's why I send you stuff in the mail so you can actually sit down in a chair in the morning with the computer off and read it and scheme and plot and get some results. That's what I want you to have. So that's how this whole thing looks like. Now, if they never, actually, hang on, there's more steps. So at the end of this sequence or at any time during this sequence, they can, of course, buy. So if they buy from this email right here, we're not gonna send them these other emails, right? There's no point. So Im immediately upon their purchase, they're taken out of the sequence. This all happens automatically, of course. I do it in Infusionsoft. If you need some help with Infusionsoft, reach out for us. We got a program for that. We can actually install this for you in your application. But now let's keep working. So if they buy, great. They're out of the sequence. You deliver your product. Everybody's happy. And hopefully there's more stuff you can sell them in a friendly and ethical manner. If they don't buy, pew, they're back down here and the other stuff column, which is so very professionally named, I know. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna send them another promotion later, right? But for now, let's focus on this four-day cash machine promo. This is how you're going to get money now. You can deploy this today because technically speaking, it's very, very simple. So what you might be thinking is, good Lord, Frank, we got two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 13 emails. It's gonna take me 15 years to write all 13 emails. Well, it would, but your old boy Frankie's looking out for you because we've got a framework for every piece of every single campaign. So what I wanna show you in the next little segment here, and we'll cut to a new video, I think, um, just for the sake of time. So this is our first little chunk here. In the next video, I'm gonna show you the framework for the click sequence. So you're about to have a little cheat sheet on how to knock these emails out fast. There's no reason in the world you can't actually deploy this sucker today. And like the title says, get money now. So that concludes the first part of the Get Money Now training for this month. I'll see you in the next video.